All right, we're not always given an equation in the slope intercept form, but we can write any equation into the slope intercept form by just solving the given equation for y. Because if you think about it, if we solve it for y, we're in the form y equals mx plus b. So as long as we can solve whatever equation it is into this form, we'll know our slope and our intercept, and that's a slope intercept form. So how are we going to get this one? Well, this one, we have a y here. We need to get rid of that 2x. So let's subtract 2x from both sides. So that gives us y equals a negative 2x, uh, then minus 1. And so that is our equation in slope intercept form. And that's all they ask. Now, if they ask what the slope was, slope is negative 2, and our intercept is 0, negative 1. So it kind of depends on how many more things they ask for. But all they're asking for is that slope intercept form. What about this one? Well, this one, we have to get rid of parentheses first. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have y minus 4 equals 4x, multiplying here, and then minus 4. Now we need to get rid of that 4 here because we just want y. So let's add 4. So we get y equals, and it looks like 4x is our solution. That's all it is because the 4s cancel, and so y equals 4x. So our slope is 4. Our intercept is 0, 0, because there's nothing here, and so that would be a 0. So that would be our intercept. All right, so these kind of do the same thing. We have to distribute. And so we'll get y plus 1 equals. Now that's going to give us a negative 1 half x. A negative times a negative is positive. Half of 4 is 2. Now we need to get rid of that 1, so we subtract 1. So y equals negative 1 half x. 2 minus 1 is 1. And again, our slope is negative 1 half, and our intercept is 0, 1. This is what they're asking for here as far as the equation goes. But from there, we can get our slope and our intercept. All right, what about here? Well, again, we're going to distribute. So we have y minus 3 equals negative 2 thirds x. Now, 3s cancel, and we just get a negative 2. Now, let's add 3 to both sides. So we've gotten rid of it here. So we have y equals negative 2 thirds x, then plus 1. Once again, we can get our, not our y, our slope is equal to a negative 2 thirds. And our intercept is 0, 1. Okay. So let's pause there, and we'll come back with more.